keeps you focused and it keeps you on a journey that you want to fulfill. I'm 45 years old right now and I love it. One lesson I always live by is never to judge a book by its cover. I've been a guard for the Ontario Provincial Police. I've also been a sergeant of a jail. I've been a municipal fire chief. I've worked as an emergency educator, as a captain for structural firefighting as well. One of my side passions that I also have is I'm a beekeeper. I know a lot of people think that's a little different, but it's something that I find very therapeutic. My honeybees are uh, part of my family. They're like my kids, I treat them the same way. I look at it like I'm a dad to them in a way, right? I find that it's my purpose to actually be the voice for the bees to make sure that we sustain a future. I love teaching and getting to grow. I've had people come to my yard and I educate them and some stop in for five minutes, some will stay for an hour. See this one fanning? Yeah. So that one's telling all the other bees that this is their home. So sisters come back to the house, see? I know a lot of people know that I, I know something about bees. Uh, I get a call saying, I have honeybees on my wall. Can you come and remove them? And I'm like, sure, I'll be more than happy to. And they're like, I don't want to hurt them. I don't want to use pesticides. And I get there and then uh, they're bumblebees or they're a wasp or hornet or a yellow jacket. So <laughs> I do the best that I can and I educate the people at the same time when I'm doing it. A lot of my job uh, careers that I've done in my life, it's sometimes chaotic, it's high stress. So being with the bees, it's uh, very therapeutic to myself and it's a coping mechanism. The most important thing to do in life is to follow your passions and try to commit 100%. And always remember, just be yourself.